What's up, VCT fans? Paper Thin back here again as we wrap up the group stage and get ready to bring audiences back to the Sangam Coliseum for playoffs. This is Play for Time, where we keep you up to date on all the VCT Korea action. The final week of the group stage brought us some intense matches, so let's dive into the highlights. Desperado Secret busted out as Neon and was shining once again, but Damwon Kia's strong individual play from the likes of Esperanza and Texture still proved to be too much to handle, as Damwon took the series 2-1, but still dropped a map to the bottom-ranked team. DRX continued their strong run in Stage 1, with Mako going big on Split, and Onslayer's Botsy continued to blow past the competition with his jet and helped his team topple T5. I'm Ready and WGS took down Maru in a close 2-1, which guaranteed WGS a spot in the playoffs, while Maru would still have to battle on Sunday to stay alive. Then, one of our most anticipated matches of the stage in Korea, DRX vs. Damwon Kia, saw Buzz and company cut through Damwon 2-0 in a convincing win. Holy Moly vs. Desperado was a do-or-die for both teams, with the loser being eliminated from playoff contention. But it was Holy Moly who took down Desperado to keep their playoff hopes alive, with 10X's Jet looking unstoppable on Haven. Maru Gaming and Chibop were able to lock in their playoff spot with a hard-fought 2-0 win over Team T5, and that spelled the end for T5 in Stage 1. And finally, WGS was able to pull off a huge upset, besting undefeated on Slayers in an intense battle that saw one of our most exciting matches of the stage. Fracture went into multiple overtimes, and it was WGS who took the map and match. This cost on Slayers their top seed and a more favorable playoff draw. With the group stage coming to a close, we say goodbye to Team T5 and Desperado who both end the stage at 1 and 6. Holy Moly, Maru Gaming, WGS, and Dom Juan Kia will all play in the first round of the playoffs on Thursday. DRX takes the top seed after Onslayer's loss to WGS, and DRX won the tiebreaker with a better set differential. Both DRX and Onslayer's will have first round buys though going into the playoffs. And remember, the playoffs are double elimination, so the teams that lose early will still have a chance to fight through the weekend. In our Week 3 Power Rankings, Dom Juan Kia's Texture takes the top spot. Our Week 3 Fearless Player was WGS's Sylvan. Sylvan has shown marked individual growth this season. Both his mechanical skill and agent technical ability have significantly improved, and he is a huge reason WGS is in the position they are. He has really shown the importance of strong performance on agents like Viper and Astra, giving his team reliable backline play throughout the stage. In particular, Sylvan's clutch 1VX plays have really highlighted his improved skill and confidence, and were once again on display in WGS's upset win over On Slayers. Sylvan won multiple 1v4s to claim key rounds in their victory. With patch 4.04 being used in the playoffs for VCT Korea, the changes to the controllers will especially be of note, and it will be interesting to see how the expert backline players like Sylvan will adapt. Considering he was only playing Astra and Viper so far this season, we're excited to see what new agents he might bring to the table for the upcoming playoffs. WGS will have a rematch against Maru Gaming in the first round of the playoffs, and with their previous battle being a close 2-1, it feels like the match could come down to who adapts to the new meta faster. This could really be Sylvan's time to shine. We've got some amazing matches throughout the weekend, with the playoffs kicking off March 17th in Korea, featuring WGS versus Maru Gaming, and Damwon Kia vs. Holy Bowly. The winners face DRX and On Slayers on Friday, and the losers will still have another chance to fight back on the weekend. Make sure to check out ValorantEsports.com for scores and updates to the VCT.